going on guys? It's your boy Sea God back at it again. Today we're going to be doing a quick little camber mod to the E36. Um, it's actually quite simple. So pretty much the coilover mounts to the hub by a like horizontal bolt that acts kind of like as a hinge. And then there's two other bolts that secure the coilover to the knuckle. And so pretty much what we're going to be doing is see here we got this bag of goodies and uh, it cost me about $15 at the hardware store but uh, shit got some magnetic shit going on here boys. so pretty much we got these grade 10.9 bolts maybe Jesus either way we got grade 10.9 bolts they're about 40 millimeters son of a bitch alright guys well that's unfortunate but yeah so we got a bunch of these little washers here right what the hell this camera sucks okay so we got a gang of these little washers here so pretty much all we're gonna do is be using this longer bolt here it's about 40 millimeters long where the stock one is 20 millimeters and we're gonna be pretty much spacing out the hub from the knuckle or the knuckle from the coilover so it'll essentially like push the bottom of the wheel out like that oof you know what I mean creating camber so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find all these washers and that fucking bolt and I got the car drove up on blocks already I'm gonna go ahead and jack the front up and take the wheels off and we'll get to it and I'll show you guys how you do what we do all right so stay tuned all right, you guys. So here you can see what the front setup looks like. As you can see, it's got this top bolt here that goes through like that and kind of just like creates a hinge. And then down on the bottom, we have these here that kind of hold it there. So as you can see how the hub is gonna gain negative camber by putting a washer in between the mounting point on the coilover and the hub itself. So this is gonna stay hinged up here on the top side. And down on the bottom is just gonna be spaced out a little bit. The only thing you really have to worry about is your inner wheel clearance with your coilover. Cause that's the only thing you don't want it touching obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shim this up, test some wheel fitment stuffs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take this bottom bolt out and probably gonna have to loosen this top bolt also that way we can swing it open a little bit and add our washers and from there we should be banging and swinging brothers so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some bolt out and get to cambering it up I'll bring you guys back whenever I got it a little shimmed up we got some wheel fitment etc etc you know what it is all right guys so we got it all shimmed the fuck up I used six washers to space it and the seventh one for the bolt head against the coilover. So here's how she looks like. Pretty fucking legit, I'd say. And uh, I don't know if you could see, but we got the the very end of the bolt coming all the way through the knuckle. So, I mean, it's about as safe as you're gonna get doing these budget E36 mods. But as you could see, even with all that camber, we have our camber plates fully in as well. Tell me if at full lock, doesn't it still look like it's got positive camber? So that's why we're doing these camber mods, you know? Because so, it's function over form, guys. We <laughs> That's kind of a joke, but uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to mock some wheels up, and we'll see what's good with it, guys. So yeah, I ended up getting an inch and a half spacer for the front. Um, I had an inch on it before, but I also might not be using these wheels so yeah i'll just show you guys what that looks like right now in three two one <laughs> yo so we got it knocked out guys we slapped the fucking washers on that bitch and this is the outcome this is a little bit of a sneak peek though i will tell you this is not final fitment this is not final height this is not nothing this is just to show you guys what these fucking washers be doing all right so here we have it it is on them other things but as you could see the washers was doing something you know 
But um, yeah, so pretty much I realized that I did indeed fuck up. I should have went with the two inch spacers. And then I could have utilized this fat fucking gap we have here. And we got ourselves a romper, guys. It's fucking romping it. Oh, but I do plan on tucking wheel. So obviously we need to go about another inch, inch and a half down. So that, yeah, like I said, we're going to need some more work. Um, probably going to have to tension the coilover spring up as far as it'll go. And that should hopefully give me enough height. Um, if not, I'll honestly probably just settle with wherever it's at. I may pull some camber out even, like by removing washers. Because I'm about that tight fitment life, you know, and this, this ain't it. You know what I mean? It is not it, brother. Damn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys. So, let me know what you think about this quick little mod. Um, you will need an alignment afterwards, just letting you know. Uh, if you're interested, you could go back and peep some of my older videos. I do have a video where I was making some toe plates. And it pretty much allows you to just set it up against the wheel. And you measure from toe plate to toe plate to be able to measure your toe and align it. But, uh, yeah, guys, this was a nice little sneak peek. Like I said, there's going to be another video where we're going to be fully fitting these on the car. Um, honestly, I might just keep it kind of... I know I'm fucking sea god, you know, camber god. What the fuck? But we might just leave it at this for now because it should be stupid functional. You know, like for turning and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, we still need to go lower, like I said. So... It'll have badass clearance whenever it's tucking wheel. So maybe we did do good. Inch and a half spacer in the front there. For the rear here, I'm gonna use these same wheels but with a one inch spacer only. However, you see it has these uh, wheel bolts and they're kind of dished, you know, like they kind of have like a little bit of a dish. Either way, the heads of these bolts stick out too much to clear the inch and the one inch spacer. So, I think I might end up shaving this down until it's flat with the dish. That way it will be able to clear. Because back here, I mean, it does feel like someone rolled it already, honestly. So that's cool. But I'm probably going to shave it. That way I can get the tightest fitment possible. Don't want no rubbing or nothing. And yeah, like I said, we're going to be tucking 18 inch wheels all the way around. I have some 17s also, if you guys remember. But that'll be just in case I don't like the way these 18s ride or whatever. Back here, it looks like we're already damn near about a tuck wheel on 18s. Might have to do something with the spring back here to get it to the final height that we want. But yeah, guys. Like I said, this is going to be the end of this video. It's just a quick little video showing you guys how to, like, mod your E36 for the cheap. You know, like I said, I spent about 15 bucks. Do make sure you get grade 10.9 bolts. They're an M20 by like 1.75 or some shit like that you'll be able to find it pretty easy online but uh yeah great 10.9 and other than that try to get some high quality washers because some of the other washers you know they're not like precise so they can come out to different sizes and shit like that and i don't know i have ocd like i said so everything gotta be perfect but uh yeah boys this is going to be the final figments. It looks pretty cool. Like I said, once it's slammed some more, it should look real nice. Um, I'm going to try to throw this wheel back on and see what's good until I'm ready to fully throw those on. I do have new tires and shit on the way for those. And I do want to polish them also because they're pretty dull. As you can see, they're fucking, they've been sitting in my backyard for months. And... Uh, also, if anyone knows where I could get some new gel caps, they just say Weld Evo on them. Um, I can find a picture or whatever. L leave a comment down below with some info if anyone knows where I can get some of those made because that'd be super cool to kind of re restore these wheels. But yeah, guys. And uh, that's the height on a piece of wood also, so don't judge. But... Uh, yeah, like I had said earlier, this is not the final height. I do plan on going lower, and it should be fucking dope. So, that being said, stay tuned. This is your boy, Sea God, checking out. 
make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I know you guys are liking this content. Uh, got a lot of followers that are mainly from the stance world. So I'm gonna go ahead and blast this on IG. You'll see this fucking car on IG. And make sure to follow the YouTube link in the bio on IG. Follow me on IG too, man. Fuck it. And uh, let me know you want some content on this bad girl. Um, if not, it's cool too. But I'm gonna keep doing my thing on this. So yeah, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.